Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about a recent update on GeoFiber routers, JCW414 model. My GeoFiber NT was running version R2.52.1, but it was automatically updated to version R2.57. In this video, I'll share what's new, what's missing, and how these changes affect your router. Let's start by going through the key changes I've noticed after the update. One really handy addition is that now I can see the router uptime under Status, Device Status, System Information. This helps me keep track of how long my device has been running. While the interface looks a bit more modern in some sections, there have been a few important features removed. Unfortunately, UPnP mode is completely gone in this update, and the option to configure the RADIUS server has disappeared as well. Before this update, I could adjust the quality of service QoS settings in the WMM section, but now all those settings are locked and can't be changed. Also, the time zone is set to by default, and I can't change that either. The first noticeable change is in the data usage statistics. Previously, the stats were more spread out and organized. However, after the update, all the data usage statistics are now presented in a single vertical line. This might seem like a small change, but it affects how you view your overall data usage at a glance, making it a little less user-friendly in terms of clarity. Another change is related to LAN IPv6 configuration. Before the update, there were two specific options available, Server Preference and SIP Server Type. After the update to R2.57, both of these options are missing, which could be problematic for users who, who depend on advanced configurations for their network settings. Now, there are two features that I wasn't sure existed before the update, but I've noticed them post-update, blocked keyword and approved URL. These features seem to give more control over filtering the content that can be accessed on the network, which could be useful for setting up parental controls or managing specific devices' access to certain sites. If anyone has more insights about whether these features existed before or if they're part of the new update, feel free to drop a comment below. Before the update, I used the accounting feature under the administration section of the router's web UI to monitor which device was using how much data. It was a great way to track network traffic directly. Unfortunately, after the update to version R2.57, that feature has been completely removed. Now all I see under the administration section is the storage option. The backup and restore options are disabled too. To sum it up, this update has made some changes to the design and added new features, but it has also removed a few useful settings like server preference, and SIP server type. So those are the changes I noticed after this update. If you've noticed something new or different, please let me know in the comments below. It would be great to share this information so that new users can learn something useful. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.